Now, in theory, this made sense, but as you mentioned, there's a sort of discussion that has emerged in whether or not the whole rights reservation or opt-out approach for TDM for commercial purposes is desirable for individual artists and creators. So on the one side, some people say that this has the potential to increase the bargaining power of rights holders, lead to licensing deals from Gen AI providers. And the particular advantage here that I see it as a lawyer would be that the solution is already in the existing copyright law and can be further strengthened by the upcoming AI Act. So you don't need to reinvent the wheel here. And this could enable artists to get paid through a combination of voluntary arrangements, tweaks to collective bargaining, and even collective licensing structures. But other commentators are more critical. Like you mentioned, Trenda Cost and Dr. Rao are among these. What they argue is that this approach will lead to market concentration and exploitation of creators by big companies. And the reason is that creative labor markets are already heavily concentrating and dominant companies, companies have significant bargaining power. So they're going to be able to impose contractual terms on artists that re will require them to sign away their quote unquote training rights for little to no compensation. Now, if we assume that this is going to be the prevalent model on the market, I think the trend of cost and doctoral point should be taken seriously. Because in copyright exploitation world, there has long been a tradition of unequal contractual relationships between individual creators and artists and their commercial exploiters like producers. So I think in particular, it would be crucial that creators are protected against signing away these training rights absent appropriate remuneration. And looking at existent law, it's really not clear whether the rules in the books right now in EU law and even in national laws would be achieving this level of protection for these so-called training rights. So this is really something we should be cautious about. 